Now we have an investigative journalist. This is Sarah Fields. I'm sure Sarah wants to ask you a question. So Sarah, please, what question do you have for Lindsay? Um, I actually, I don't have a whole lot of questions. I just, um, I mean, these text messages are incredibly concerning and it doesn't really feel like something that should be joked around about. Um, but I mean, were you granted a restraining order? No. You were not granted a restraining order because like, okay, so I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to call you a liar because I don't think that that would be appropriate. But what I will say is that if anybody ever accuses someone of something so horrific and it's, it's not actually true, that would be the most disgusting thing because this man's career uh, has potentially been completely destroyed. His future has been completely stained. And that is very bothersome to me as someone who is a DV victim myself, a DV survivor, as well as uh, my daughter is also a survivor of a horrific thing that we came out of. And I was myself accused of something that I absolutely did not do. And that was horrific in itself. It caused trauma and it caused PTSD, not just to me, but to my entire family. Um, and now a lot of that is out in the open and it's that it's brought that trauma back all over again of what I went through in my marriage with my abusive ex-husband who now uh, years later we've been finally ex exonerated and it's been proven that everything we did say was true because now he sits in a prison cell for 15 years in a uh, actually not far from here believe it or not um, and it should be longer than that but I think that anyone who accuses someone of doing something like this and, uh, and is not telling the truth because they're putting money over life, they uh, value money over the life of someone else, belongs in a jail cell right next to my ex-husband. Do you agree that fake sexual assault accusers should go to prison, Lindsay? I absolutely do. And I think there's a big reason that that has never happened to me in two and a half years because of all of the different evidence that has been laid out there.